everybody, Silver Picker here, and welcome to the Silver Picker Squad. This week was Memorial Day in the United States. And for those of you who don't know, Memorial Day is a day for remembering and honoring people who have died while serving in the United States Armed Services. Brave men and women who have laid down their lives to protect the freedoms that we enjoy every single day. It's an important day, and especially important to those who have lost friends and family members. Many of you probably know a lot about Memorial Day, but some of you are probably not aware of a coin-related tradition associated with this holiday. Those of you who are veterans might know, but those of you who are not, get ready to learn something interesting and meaningful in this video. If you go to a military cemetery, you will see, unfortunately, thousands upon thousands of tombstones. And upon many of these tombstones, you will find coins of various denominations. Putting coins on tombstones is an age-old tradition dating back to Roman times, but it gained tremendous popularity in the United States during the Vietnam War. To the uninitiated, it may just seem like a pile of pocket change sitting atop the tombstone, but to those in the know, each coin tells a story. In fact, each denomination actually has a specific meaning. A penny signifies that the person who placed it wishes to honor the deceased's service to the country. Anyone can place a penny on a tombstone of a fallen soldier. A nickel, however, means that the person who placed it trained with the deceased in boot camp. A dime shows that he or she served in war with the deceased, and a quarter, the highest denomination typically found on U.S. military tombstones, implies that the person who placed it was with the deceased at the time of his or her death. I don't know about all of you, but to me, this adds a whole nother level of depth to this holiday. Really. So, in honor of Memorial Day and in memory of the fallen soldiers, let's take a look at five gorgeous coins, each commemorating one of the many facets of the United States military. The first coin we will look at is this World War II commemorative dollar. World War II was the deadliest war for Americans in our history by far, with 407,316 American soldiers killed or missing by the end. My own grandfather, in fact, was a World War II veteran, and because of this, I actually have chosen this particular coin to fill the modern commemorative dollar slot in my own typeset. Number two is the 1994 commemorative silver dollar depicting the Vietnam Veterans Memorial in Washington, D.C. I think this was an appropriate choice to fit this slot in this list of five coins, given that the tradition of placing coins on the tombstones was popularized during this era. And if you haven't been to the memorial in D.C., I highly recommend that you take the time to visit. Number three is an important coin commemorating women in military service. Back in the day, women were completely left out of the Memorial Day equation, but thankfully nowadays that is less of an issue, and I'm proud to see that such a coin was minted in their honor. In a similar vein, number four commemorates another group of proud Americans who have not always received the credit that they were due, African Americans. On the obverse, this coin portrays Crispus Attucks, a black man known for being the first American killed in the Revolutionary War and a symbol of black military sacrifice dating back to the founding of this nation. The reverse depicts other black patriots who laid down their lives in the Revolutionary War, defending the land of the free. Tragically, this freedom would not be granted to them for another hundred plus years, a stain and disgrace on this nation. This is why it is extra important to honor African Americans who fought and died for this country. And finally, number five is the 2010 commemorative silver dollar honoring disabled veterans. I chose this coin because while Memorial Day is traditionally observed to commemorate those who were killed in battle, it is also important to remember that many veterans who do come back, come back with lasting injuries that they and their families must deal with for the rest of their lives. On that note, I think it's fitting to say that if any of you are interested in contributing to a worthy cause supporting veterans and families of fallen soldiers, I'm linking a list of highly worthwhile causes with, I might add, four-star charity navigator ratings. Wouldn't hurt to throw 10 or 20 bucks of your silver budget to help those in need, families of fallen soldiers and veterans alike. In fact, I will personally donate $1 for each of my subscribers that donates at least $10 to one of these causes. Post a screenshot of your donation confirmation on my Facebook or Instagram or even on my website and you'll be counted. Also, please like and comment on this video. Even if you typically don't like or comment on the video, just do it because it'll help with the YouTube algorithm and help spread this video around to spread the word to honor our military heroes. Well, that about does it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it worthwhile. We learned about numismatic traditions and military history, honored our veterans and those who were killed in battle, and saw a bunch of beautiful commemorative silver dollars, and maybe even raised some money for a good cause. Not a bad way to spend 10 minutes, in my opinion.
So thank you very much to all my subscribers. If you're not yet a subscriber, what the heck are you waiting for? Join us in the Silver Picker Squad by hitting the subscribe button and that little bell next to it so you never miss an opportunity to learn about the best strategies to succeed in the business and hobby of buying and selling precious metals and coins. So I really hope you enjoyed the video because we've got a lot more cool stuff coming down the pike. So stay tuned and until next time, Silver Picker out.